DIY dishwasher install. This is the hunk of junk that's leaving my house. Oh, and Mike is ready for another install. So are you ready for another episode of Do It Yourself with Mike and Dana? Here we go. Mike went ahead and what did you do so far? Loosen the screws that hold it in. Up on the top, you have to loosen the screws that hold it in. And what are you gonna do next? We're gonna pull it out. Pull it out and hope that we don't trash the floor. Here we go. All right, what are you doing, Mike? Disconnecting the water line. All right. And then we're gonna disconnect the electrical and the uh, sewer. And we already turned the main water valve off, so we're not worrying about that. I will offer you a few hints. Make sure you have a couple things to catch water. You can see we have an old coffee thing catching water and towels and another cup over here because it will leak and some old towels because the water is obviously in there from so many uses. Also have your tools ready ahead of time. Make sure the electric is off, the water is okay. off. What are we doing? We're disconnecting the electricity. This particular item is hardwired, so we had to get to the box and make sure the power was shut off first and disconnect all the wires. All right, what are we doing now? Okay, we are reattaching the uh, existing wires because the new dishwasher came with a pigtail and a plug so we have a plug already, uh, an outlet installed already inside. So I'm reconnecting the hard wire so that that stays, the plug stays on. I ran the plug back through. We're gonna connect this to the dishwasher. And then we ran a new water line through. So we connected that already to the sink and we're gonna run this through and get it ready to connect to the dishwasher. All right, we're back. Okay. We just hooked up the new water line. The connection is right under here, under the uh, dishwasher. We ran a new line. It's got a three quarter inch uh, threaded compression fitting on it. However, we did put a little sealant on it, just to be sure. Connected this end and connected that end. And we turned the water on to make sure that there's no leaks on each end. All right, where are we? I am just rejoining this project and I see a bunch of stuff hanging out. What's going on? Okay, well, we did the last step, which was to hook up the electrical, which came into this panel right down the bottom under here. Uh, we hooked up the neutral and the hot and the ground and the plug goes back into the plug in the back. And then we ran the drain pipe in and connected it to the uh, drain line inside under the sink. Well, it looks like I did a great job measuring for the project and Michael did a great job installing. So now we're going to finish up. Okay, okay so we have a few things left to do, even though we have it pretty much installed. What are you doing down there, Mike? We are adjusting the height of the dishwasher. These screws here adjust the back and raise up the back. If you turn them, they'll raise up the back of the dishwasher and then these will raise up the front of the dishwasher. We'll need to close the gap on the top up here so that we can put the brackets in, which will then fasten the dishwasher. These brackets that came with it that then fasten the dishwasher to the uh, cabinetry. All right, so we will show you a little bit more once we're done. All right, so Mike is putting the finishing touch on the dishwasher install. We ran into some stuff along the way. Hey Mike, what was frustrating about the install from your perspective? You know, not like you're not doing anything right now, but go ahead and let's put the pressure on. The toughest part was probably getting it level. Yeah? Yeah. And what was the challenge about getting it level? It was just challenging. Okay. Or maybe the fact that I kept asking a hundred questions or that I wanted it perfect. Is that probably the situation? That could be the situation. <laughs> you know, typical wife stuff. All right, so wasn't too bad. And this last piece is going to complete the look. <laughs> 